today we are doing a jump rope and shadow boxing workout. It's gonna be a 15 minute workout. Put this together to help you improve your jump rope skills. We're gonna be doing some basic and intermediate patterns as well as a little bit of shadow boxing as well. All right, the way we're gonna do it, we're gonna do one pattern for one minute. Every time you hear the bell, we're gonna switch the pattern and we're gonna be doing a little bit of shadow boxing as well. So you can just follow me along. I'm gonna guide you through the entire thing. Before we get into this workout, I just wanna remind you, make sure you're warmed up, you're ready to go before jumping into this jump rope workout. Also, big shout out to Box Rope for providing us with the rope today for this workout. You can check them out at Box Rope. All right, so let's get to it. All right guys, so minute one, we're gonna start with a real basic pattern. You're gonna be doing double feet, nice and simple, the most basic jump rope pattern. Rope's gonna be coming over your head, obviously. And what I want you to concentrate on is keeping your rope tight. So you're gonna use your wrists as much as you can. I'm gonna coach you through the, each technique as we go through, but that's gonna be your first pattern. So as soon as you hear the bell, let's get this thing going. All right, so in three, two, one, we're away. All right, so minute one in, starting with both feet hitting the ground at the same time. And when you're jumping rope, I always encourage people, less is more. So you don't need to be jumping super high like this, right? You only need to be jumping the height of the, jump, uh, the width of the jump rope. So I'm only jumping two or three inches off the floor here. Now when I'm jumping, I'm keeping a grip on the floor with the feet. So I'm on the balls of the feet. I'm not letting the heels touch the ground at all. I'm keeping my shoulders relaxed and I'm just concentrating on my breathing. Nice, slow breathing and keeping the tightness in the rope. If the rope gets slack, it's gonna catch the feet, right? So we gotta keep that rope tight the whole time so it's going right over the top of our head, giving us a chance to jump, up, jump over it. So in 10 seconds, when you hear the bell, we're gonna switch the foot pattern. So instead of landing both feet, we're gonna land one foot and alternate two jumps on each foot. Ready? Now we're switching it. Two left, two right, two left, two right. You can see I'm barely lifting the foot off the ground. It doesn't have to be like this, right? Keep it nice and short. Two left, two right, two left, two right. You can just feel that rhythm. Go whatever pace you feel comfortable with. Remember, this is only minute two of 15. So don't go out too quick, too early. Remember, it's kind of a marathon, not a sprint right here. We're doing, trying to get 15 minutes in. Should start to feel the shoulders a little bit, which is why it's great for boxing. It's building up that lower body endurance, building up the shoulder endurance, whilst building your cardiovascular system, your lung capacity. All super important for when you're about to get in the ring and do some Hit the mitts, spar, hit the heavy bag, whatever you're about to do. Concentrate on relaxing the shoulders. Keep your breathing under control. In three seconds, we're gonna do a round, one minute of shadow boxing. All right, so minute three. Jump rope down, hands up in your boxing stance. We're gonna throw two punches at a time. Moving around, when I say go, any two punches you want, go. There's a double jab, go, go. Concentrate on your form. Keep moving those feet. Go. Hands are up by the chin, shoulders are relaxed. Exhale with your punches. Go. Go. A little bit of head movement after each combination. Go. Moving your head. Think of the last punch that you've thrown, defend that side. Go. 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 Moving the head, moving the feet. Last 10 seconds, and then we're going right back to the jump rope. Go. Turn those hips and shoulders with your straight punches. Go. All right, back to the jump rope. Round four, whatever pattern you want out of those first two, nice and steady. Double feet, alternating feet, whatever you feel comfortable with right here. We're going one minute steady. We're on minute four now. Good start, guys, keep it going. Nice and controlled, keep that rope tight. Keep your breathing slow. Try not to tighten up in the neck, shoulders away from the head. Everything nice and loose and relaxed and controlled. Just find in your rhythm. Another 30 seconds, steady tempo. Keep that rope under the feet. Just lifting the feet two, three inches off the floor. Concentrate on not getting too big. Remember, less is more, that's gonna conserve energy too. It's gonna allow us to get through this entire 15 minutes. Concentrate on keeping that rope tight. 10 more seconds, then we're going to alternating feet. If you're on alternating feet already, just keep it going for one more minute. 
Guys are doing really good. Keep with it. Keep breathing. All right, minute five. Alternating feet, two right, two left. Two right, two left, you see that? Now we can play with that pattern. Now I want you to go three left, three right. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Two, three, two, three. Count your feet. Three right, three left. Three right, three left. Wrists, arms are doing exactly the same. Don't stop that rhythm with the arms. It's doing exactly the same rhythm the whole time. Three left, three right. 30 seconds to go, and then we're going back to shadow boxing. And we're gonna work on starting with a double jab. So another 15 seconds, ah! Three left, three right, there's the first mistake so far, it took five minutes. You're gonna see that more as you get fatigued. There's another one. All right, five more seconds. Three left, three right. Keep that rhythm, two, one. Back on your shadow boxing, rope down. Every combination now is going to start with two jabs. So I want two jabs, throw the power shots, move those feet. Hands are up, chin down, move around a little bit, visualize the opponent. Go. Breathe in. Exhale with your punches. Go. Nice work, guys. Keep those hands up. Hands back to the chin after the punches. Go. Try and get creative with those combos. Go. Body. Move your head. Go. Go. Leading with the double jab. Go. That's it, moving around, moving around. 20 more seconds, lead with the double jab. When you do, do the double jab too, practice coming forward with it. Practice going back with it. When you come forward, lead hand, lead foot. When you come back, back foot, lead hand. All right, 10 more seconds, go. 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 And under, all right. Back to the jump rope, we're five minutes in. Round, round, si round seven now, alternating side to side, so a quick tutorial. We're gonna whip the rope, round the side, round the side. Twice on each side, pull it tight, jump under. So it's gonna be a little setup. So nice and slow, side, 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 under. Then we're in, whatever you feel comfortable with it here. And then as soon as I say go, I want you to practice that side to side switch. Ready? Go, side, 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 under, back in, breathe. The key right here is just to bring the handles together, whip it around the sides of the hips. When you're ready to jump under it, pull the left hand across to the left. So, side, 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 pull. Staying on that rhythm with the feet. The feet do not stop right here, keep the same rhythm. 10 more seconds, one more, go. Three, four, under. One more, go, two, four, under. All right, next one. Now we're gonna start bringing a little bit of lower body condition into it. We're gonna go into an A skip or a running skip, whatever you wanna call it. What we're gonna do is go two bounces on the left. When we're bouncing on the left, we're gonna drive the right knee up. So it should look something like this. Keep the rhythm the same with the arms. So one, two, one, two. Two, one, two. Two, one, two. Driving those knees up, keeping that rhythm in the feet, keeping the rhythm with the hands, trying to get that knee right up towards the shoulder. Good hip flexor mobility right here. It's increasing the fast twitch muscle fibers in your legs too. So when you're moving around in the ring, legs are on fire, moving around. Nice and quick with your movements. Stuff like this pays off. Keep it going. See if you can get another 15 seconds on this pattern. Breathing, shoulders relaxed. Stay with it, nearly there. Shadow boxing coming up again. We're going three punch combinations for the next round. Ready, rope down, all right. Any three punch combo you want. Lead with the cross, lead with the jab, whatever you want. Let's go, hands up, go. Moving your feet, moving your head. Go, go, go. Defense, hands are up, shoulders are relaxed, breathing. Go, body and head, mix it up. Go, moving, moving, breathing. Go. Nice and long with them straight punches. Go. Bam. If you feel comfortable just sticking with the one-two hook, do that. If you want to mix it up and get out your comfort zone a little bit, try and mix it up. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Three punches on my go. 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 Ten seconds to go and then we're right back to that jump rope. Go. 
three punches at a time, go. All right, guys, back to your rope. All right, round 10, steady, double feet. This is what we started with. So think of this as practice. Super beginner pattern, nice and controlled. Both feet together. This is a chance to get the heart rate down a little bit, kind of recover while still moving. <laughs> Which is, again, if you're in the ring and you just took a heavy shot or you're feeling really tired on the mitts, you might need to just move around a little bit and catch your breath for a few seconds. This right here is you just circling the ring for a second, keeping some distance and recovering and getting ready to attack again. 20 seconds, keep it going. Keep that rope tight. That's the key with all of this. Keep that breathing going. Next one, we're going back to the alternating feet. Two left, two right. In 10 seconds, stay on your rhythm. Calves should be burning. You're gonna thank me tomorrow when those calves are tight. <laughs> Keep it up guys, you're doing great, stay with me. All right, there we go, there's the bell. Two, two, two left, two right. Nice and steady. Keep the breathing under control. Long inhale, long exhale. Keep those shoulders away from your head. Shoulders and neck area nice and relaxed. Breathing. Two left, two right. Keeping that rhythm. Rely on your wrists for the rhythm. Keep whipping that rope. Shoulders should be burning. Two left, two right. Another 30 seconds. Two left, two right. You got it. Make sure you're staying off those heels. Don't let those heels touch the ground. Two left, two right. Keep it going, guys. We're almost there. We're into the final stretch. Two left, two right. Round 12 coming up. We're going back uh, to the rope, staying on the rope. Going back to that side transition. Remember, it's two on each side. So it's gonna be left, right, left, right. My hands are together, and then I pull it past the hips. One minute, practicing it. So while you're swinging the rope like this, that's the chance to get the feet going. Get your feet, one, two, three, four, in. Okay, one, two, three, four, in. Don't, uh, make sure you jump over the rope. Four, there, good. So one, two, three, four, under. Rhythm is the same in the feet the whole time, whatever you feel comfortable with. Ready, go, one, two, three, four, under. Little turn of the wrist, control your rope. Go, one, two, three, four, under. Guys doing great, 20 more seconds. Go, one, two, three, four, under. Nice work. Going back to that A skip, or the running skip, in 10 seconds. Stay with me, you've got this, we're nearly there. Go, one, two, three, four, under. Three minutes to go. Go, one, two, three, four, under. Ready, A skip, so two left, two right, driving the knee up, keeping the same rhythm in the rope, ready. Let's go, up, 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 that's the rhythm. Try not to catch the rope. Ready, get your rhythm back, go, up, up. Because it's gotta be a little quicker with the feet that are hitting the floor, but still keeping it controlled. Staying on the balls of the feet, driving that knee up, keeping the rhythm in the arms, breathing, under control the whole time. Nice and relaxed, you got it. Easy work. 25 seconds to go on these. Keep driving that knee up. Keep switching quickly. Keep the tempo with the wrist. Keep it going. Shadow boxing coming up in 15 seconds. Back to three punch combos. Let's work a little bit harder on the shadow boxing. 10 seconds. Breathe. Keep it going guys. Five, four, three, two, and rope down. Three punches at a time on my go. Ready? Go. A little quicker on the shots. Head movement. Picture your target. Go. Boo. Go. Good. Body shots now. Go. Get out. Moving around. Go. Head movement. Move the feet. Breathe. Feet and calves might be tired. It's all good. We got it. Go. Two hook two right there. Go. Head movement after. 30 more seconds. Go. Go, 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 last 15, go, moving, go, breathe with your shots, go, 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 
All right, last minute coming up. We're gonna try and do high knees for one minute. Last one, high intensity finisher. Rope, time in. Rope's going. Get your rhythm in your feet. From here, whatever you feel comfortable with. On my go, we're going one, one. One left, one right. So it's not the skip, it's one, one. Non-stop. High knees on the spot. Ready, go. One, 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 one. Breathing and steady, relax. Slow it back down. Last 30 seconds of the workout. Hopefully you got through all of this. Finish strong, you've got it. Deep breath, on my go, high knees. Go. Push that speed, knees up. Whip that rope, use your wrist. Go, go, go. Last 10 seconds, finish strong. Come on, high knees to the bell. Last five seconds, get them knees up. Quick feet, all the way to the bell. Two, one, time. Great work guys, have a rest. Nice job. All right guys, thanks so much for uh, trying this workout. I'd love to hear how you felt after that. Let me know in the comments. Did it absolutely blast you? Was it easy? Was it too difficult? Give me the feedback. Uh, I'll help you with, the, with that and help you get better if you, if you were struggling with that. 15 minutes there, one minute intervals. We didn't stop the whole time. We got the shadow boxing in and the patterns were just pretty basic and simple. So if you're brand new to jump rope, you can re-watch this video over and over again. I recommend keep practicing it until that stuff just becomes second nature. Repetition is key. If you're doing this day in, day out, and you're struggling right now and catching the rope a lot, keep doing this workout, keep practicing it, follow along, listen to all the cues I gave about relaxing the shoulders, staying on the toes, using the wrists, and I guarantee if you do this day in, day out, a couple of months down the line, you'll be absolutely flying. Check out my review video right here of the box rope and everything that comes with the package. Thanks so much again for watching. Shout out to Box Rope for supplying this for the workout. Check them out at Box Rope. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.